Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Cyberpunk 2077 100% Walter. In this episode we're actually going to do three quests but we're going to start with Gary the Prophet's quest and while we're doing that we're going to knock out this one here paid in full since it's literally right near him and then we're also going to do a cyber cycle sighting because it's near a teleport and all three quests are easily accessible from this side drop that we're doing right now which is why I want to do them all all three of them. All right so let's mark this teleport here the docks which is a new teleport that we now have access to since we got to this area of the game and we're going to teleport to bradbury and biron where vic is okay so we're not going to talk to vic just yet we want to talk to gary the prophet first it's around the corner here we have to talk to him like five times we already talked to him once at the beginning of the game so this should be a second conversation that we have with them human vampires the lot their bodies, they never age! But notice their eyes, cold and dead. Their corporation exists only as cover for their wicked means to live, or rather, to remain undead. I tell you now, Saburo is not gone from our world. He rests undisturbed in the family crypt. They are working on immortality too. bodies rejuvenating. Me told, shocker. Said on TV, Arasaka's working on immortality tech. A hollow lie to conceal their inhuman nature. Its source flows not through technology, but through their undead blood. But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from Alpha Centauri. It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this devil spawn. Gary, you can't spill Arasaka's secrets. They gonna find you! Let them! The seed has been sown. The truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invader's clutches. I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? I will give him 100 euros, and that's the only tip that I'll be giving him. You do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. Radio waves bear the truth. Okay, so this time he's just gonna keep repeating himself. What we need to do, I found like a consistent way for him to change his dialogue is just to go down here to Victor. All the way until you open the gate, go in, and then leave. But let's pay the debt first while we're here. So. Finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to him just in case. You need him more than me. I'm not taking him all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing in any. That's what friends are for. We now have access to him as a Ripper Duck. I was thinking about swapping some chrome. You got any new toys? Have a look. Alright, so as you can see, we have this. This is owned already. Increases armor by 90, so let's put that on. And I'll show you where this is installed. This is installed in this system here. The Integumentary system. So now we have an extra 90 armor from that, which is nice. That is a rare component that we found. Very, very useful. We also have two extra operating systems, as you can see. This one is a legendary, which we can't equip yet. It says level 15. We need 15 reflexes. The one that we have right now is a common. Two base, four buffer size, two slots. All right, this is a rare. So this one's going to be epic. So this one's better. Now, these cost a lot of money, though. So you probably want to save your cash first. Or you can just buy them now if you want. But I'm saving my cash because I want to buy all vehicles. But this is very good as it allows you to perform quick hacks on targets and devices while scanning. Quick hack cooldown reduced by 45%. And increase combat quick hat duration by 40%. And then there's the legendary one which costs 35,000. I probably won't be buying that one for a while since I need to buy all the vehicles for a trophy still. I'm going to turn around. And let's go get some new dialogue with Gary now. Your executives, your leaders. But they are not human, no. But then what, you ask? Reptilians! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. 
They hide their true faces under masks of human skin! Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! President Myers is a reptilian too? You think President Myers is one of them? Why so many shootings? Why do countless die on the streets as the police do nothing? What human would condemn his brethren to such suffering? And why? And where did this filth slither out from, you ask? Antarctica, you said that already. Today they hide amidst the snow and ice of the South Pole. Step by step, usurping our crown as creation's chosen. Millions of years ago, they evolved from dinosaurs to become the world's first advanced, intelligent race. And who is their progenitor? Their masters? The scientists of Alpha Centauri! I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind... I'll give him one year or whatever. Humble. We already tipped him, so... Radio waves bear okay, the he's just gonna repeat himself over and over, so we have to go back here. This is the easiest, consistent way that I found to change his dialogue. So that we can proceed with his real speech that he needs to give. Now we go back and he should be on a new dialogue option now. But what they don't know... The real name for this thing they call cyberspace is actually Pandemonium! What is life without its body? What are the beings of the net if not souls from beyond our plane of existence? I have heard their voices. Let they who yet live never cross that threshold, for their souls will join those ghostly ranks. Nobody in Night City has a soul to lose. This is Night City. No one's got a soul to lose. Mock as you will, unbeliever. You shall see who laughs last as you're engulfed in hellfire. Satan himself! Laughs? See, now I'm skeptical. I heard the runner who wrote that Satan demon gave him a weak sense of humor. You ask, who opened these unholy gates of the abyss? No one's asking. And I answer you. The Techno Necromancers of Alpha Centauri! I recognize you. You come. Here. Humble. Radio waves. All right. The Back to repeat mode. We have to change his dialogue again. So let's go down here again. Down here, open the gate. Whoop, 180. And he should be on a different dialogue option. Watch out. They traverse the Badlands in trucks, yes! But when the full moon rises, they remove their human masks. And what hides underneath, you ask? Reptilians? I answer you, no! Not reptilians, but werewolves. At sunset, they strip off their clothes and dance nakedly, giving in to an animalistic ecstasy. Then, once they've transformed into the fanged beasts, they set off on the hunt, hungry for human flesh. Dozens of miles they cover in the darkness, with ferocious speed, like arrows in the night! And why all the trucks? I don't know, it doesn't add up. If they can move like that... While the trucks and bikes. Ah, ah, when the moon shines full, I said. Only three nights a month. During their orgies of blood, they devour all in the area. In the day, they must drive to virgin lands in search of new prey. And the cause behind these monstrous horrors? Years ago, a ship from Alpha Centauri crash landed in the Badlands. Legend tells that it carried a substance highly sought after by the vampire elite in Arasaka. It could transform Saburo's enemies into werewolves, leashed and bound to his will. But the crash Are You got a problem with life. nomads, freak? Better shut your fat fucking mouth before I put you six feet under. You can break my bones, but you cannot stop the pursuit of truth. 
Okay, make sure you select the no man option here. Jesus, chill. Wouldn't you want people to think we're werewolves? It's fucking hardcore. Maybe the backers like childish jokes, but I'm not gonna put up with that shit. Oh, let me guess. Some kid tells you you're a gonk and you smell bad, and you cry about that too? This guy's been rambling on about hell, vampires, and necromancers from space. You seriously believe he's deliberately targeting our rep? Well, sure. His brain clearly ain't firing on all cylinders. Oh, fuck it. I won't waste my time on a street creep. That was close. They're not as dangerous in the daylight, but it still could have ended badly. Thank you for your concern, though I could have done without the mockery. No problem. I mean, who's gonna tell me how we faked the Mars landing if I let him knock your teeth out? You have no faith in my words, do you? You think I don't know when I'm mocked? When they take me for a false prophet? Uh, there's a grain of truth to what you say. It's hard to take your interpretation seriously. There is a little truth in what you say. Sometimes even more than a little. You see it too! You know that behind a veil of darkness lurk creatures from our nightmares, but you fear to believe it! You know, if you had any kind of real evidence for this grand cosmic plot... I do! Tonight! They're meeting at an old factory in Kabuki to exchange something important! Observe them! Seize this item, this Alpha Centauri artifact. You'll see I was right from the beginning! How do you know about this? Wait, wait, hold on. How do you even know about this meeting? Their radio waves resonate within my brain. Ever since the accident, I've heard their secret broadcasts. The accident? You know that doesn't instill confidence, right? You don't understand! I have their code processor in my head! I don't know how my Ripper Doc got his hands on it. But thanks to this, I can listen into their plots and schemes. If you help me, we can save this planet together. Thanks for the tip. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thanks for the tip, I think. You mustn't intervene too soon, or too late. All could be lost. The fate of humanity rests upon your shoulders. Don't let us down. Do not let me down. No pressure, got it. And we're finally starting Gary's freaking quest here, the Prophet Song. Right, let's click that, go to the old factory. So we're gonna teleport right there, and we're also gonna get a new quest when we teleport. It's gonna be a cyber cycle sighting. Oh, hold on, where am I going? So teleport to Charter Street. Okay, answer the phone call. Hey V, the NCPD got a call about a cyber psycho and actually sent a patrol this time. But it's been a few hours with no report back. Either those cops got scared and bounced, or... Anyway, could you check it out for me? Be much appreciated. And that Cyber Psycho sighting is just right around the corner on top of a bridge, so... We'll do that one after. We're just gonna finish this quest first since we already started it. Fifty meters away. Nothing too useful around here, seems. There, we got something. Let's see what it is. Guitar pick, never mind. Junk dashed inside a chest, nice. The time has come for a close encounter of the third kind. A small step for V, but a giant leap for humankind. Who are you betting on showing up? The reptilians or techno-necromancers? Reptilians. Reptilians, obviously. If anything's fishy, always pin it on the reptilians. V, V, V. Hate to tell you this, but reptilians don't exist. Do we need to have a talk about Santa Claus, too? Enough joking around. Gotta be quiet. Gotta wait.
Alright, so make a left turn. I'm gonna hide. Hide right here. No one. As expected, I guess. Gotta be honest, though. I'm pretty disappointed. Don't lose hope yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone actually showed. It's a maelstrom. Techno necromancers, then. I knew those reptilians were bullshit. Alright, so we're gonna move up and eavesdrop on them and wait for them to exchange the microchip and then we're gonna kill them. You'll know that they exchanged it by watching or by waiting for the drop to update. So get your snipe already. And let's go to settings. I turned my music volume low off so I can better eavesdrop. Can't believe it. There's some actual conspiracy shit going down right now. What says the wolf father to the moon mother as she descends to Earth? I have protected the realm of man and shadow. But today they are protected by our children. His name is Pedro Sand. All right, he's getting ready to exchange it. Get ready. In the age of his failure, he became lost in the forest. The fuck! Oh my god, did she just t pose? Oh, she dodged it. Okay, I gotta be careful. Look that bitch. Alright, dead. You scared now? No, not really. Gonna reload here. Shit. Where's the other guy? Oh, he's hiding. We got him. There! Easy. Oh, new boots. I don't know if they're any good. I don't think they're better than my legendary ones. I'm gonna get some stuff. I'm gonna get too full and I'll have to start. Yeah, I'm too full now. And let's get the mystery ship. I was hoping for green blood. Life really is nothing but an endless disappointment. Wonder what our prophet will say about this chip. Oh, we can get in his vehicle? Alright, so let's... We're gonna drive right to that teleport and I'm gonna come back and do the cyber cycle sighting. So we'll just steal their vehicle temporary for now. Oh shit. I didn't mark the... one sec. There we go. We're good. Let's go. Alright, back to Bradbury we go. Where's Gary? What happened? I warned him! Some black suits came by, blue eyes and all, looked just like he said. Then, then they threw him in an AV and, and flew him to the mothership! You didn't think of stopping them? No one's tried to help? Not a soul. 
The police say he's sick. Truth of it is, he knows too much. He's a threat to him. Right now, I'm collecting donations for a monument in his honor to remember his courage and the crimes of Alpha Centauri. Care to spare a few eddies? In love and memory? You know what this mystery chip is? I got this chip here. Mind taking a look? <sighs> Gary did say you're devoted to our cause. I show me. I'll tell you what I know. Show the mystery chip. Jesus Christ, hide that quick! Nobody can know, got it? Why, what is it? What's this all about? Gary knew this had happened! They here to bend us to their will, to, to make us their puppets. Whoa, calm down. Who is? The Tecro Necromancers? And lo, they shall descend upon the earth unseen, the sky shrouded in darkness. That's what he said. Night's coming, the eternal night. And so ends the epic saga of discovering secrets of paranormal beings. What's this story taught us? Give us our Gary back! After century, Open and in suck. The lack of closure sucks. I don't disagree, but I had something else in mind. Some people know more than others. They hear the private conversations of the world's elite. And what do they do with that knowledge? They invest all their time reinventing age-old fairy tales. Give us our Gary! You were right. Wasted our time. Ugh, you're right. It's all been a complete waste of time. Chasing some nonsensical bullshit. Yeah, but nonsense is a temptress. And they know it. Saturating their skull sponges with dreams of a more interesting world. Truth, on the other hand, is brutally mundane. Its corpse pulling the strings. Twisted bastard sketched out on their power fantasies. You think that's what we saw? Shady corpo biz? No doubt about it. They're the world's real bloodsuckers. Them, and always them. Quest complete. Go to uh, journal. And cyber cycle sighting demons of war. That's just right around the corner because we're gonna just teleport right to Charter Street to get there. So teleport to Charter Street. Okay. So we have to get on top of that bridge. Let's see if we take our bike there. We're gonna scan this. Oh wait, hold on. Maelstroms. We win or we die. Yeah, you die. That's what. Oh shit. There we go. Thank you, guys. I'll be taking all this stuff that you have. Lots of junk, huh? Alright, let's uh, get rid of some of this stuff now. Oh, we do have higher armor to put on. How's this? Weird. Actually, I'm probably gonna... I'm probably gonna put this on instead. We got higher level armor now. It's too bad I can't take the mod off the cycle tank top though. Still haven't found better boots. Alright, let's continue down.
Oh, we got a new teleport around here. Where's my bike? All the way down there? Holy shit. Alright, let's go do the Cypher Cycle so I can quest now. It's gonna be all the way around this corner now. Here we are. I'm hit. We can scan these guys. There's a green one over there. Scanned. Okay. Move up. This guy's gonna get knocked out too. The sniper cycle is a good sniper, but I think we're better. <laughs> Boom! Headshot, baby. Headshot. One more. One more headshot. Yeah, there you go. He's dead. Right. Let's see what's here. EMP grenade. Nice. Sniper rifle. Yeah. Good thing about snipers is they have sniper rifle ammo. Haha. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fuck. Hell, this game's so buggy, man. It threw me off. It, like, freaking forced me off. Who would have thought? I want to keep this guy alive. Again. Okay, let's grab the shard here. Rifle ammo. Flare. Shotgun ammo. And shard. Nice. Oh, yeah, okay. Open this, this is where the, the mission ends, we have to use it. Hold F key, and read through these. Hmm. There. Jobs updated, sent the information to Regina, so let's go telephone call. And let's open messages. Cyber cycle, let's send this text right here. Our cycles are cold bug conscious. Transfer you the data I gathered. Looks like it was an ex-merc working for some court. Soon as he stopped being useful, they tossed him out on the street. Guy kept his combat implants, had PTSD, stopped taking his meds. You can fill in the blanks. Thanks for going the extra mile. So a badge friend of mine just sent over his data. Guy's head was a mess. Must have taken four times doses just to make it through the day. Eventually the corp cut off his health insurance, the cash dried up, and the ticking time bomb exploded. But was it really from the implants alone? Who the hell knows? Either way, your ideas are in the air. Thanks for taking care of this. Alright, we can click through this stuff. There's a new car that we can get for sale. We can buy it. Yeah, we can turn this off. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we need this on. And we are done here, guys. Let's head back to that. Uh, yeah, I think the best point to leave off. Actually, I think there's something up here. Yeah, there is. Okay. The best point to leave off would be probably at a teleport or something. I'm common item components and. Uh, Old plastic gas mask, I'll probably get rid of it anyway. In a second. Alright, so that was it. Let's get that boy. Uh, 
Right, I'm gonna mark Charter Street again. Actually, hold on, how far is that? 150 meters? This is right down there. Yeah, but that's... Hold on. Is that a high jump? Or no? Can I make that safely? I'm curious to see one second. One sec. This should be a safer jump right down here, actually. Yeah, I lost some HP, but we survived it. It's fine with me. That is fine with me. We just regenerate some health back. All good. Fastest way down, so might as well take it. Alright, we're good. Alright guys, so I'm going to end the episode right here and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.